G'day! In today's video, I'm having a little bit of a look at the AeroCool Split RGB case. So this particular one does have the tempered glass. And when we go down here, case colour is black. So it does come in a white variety as well. There's its full model number here. And also includes a 120mm RGB fan and the usual stuff from there. To begin with, I've already assembled the machine, so I will just show it in an assembled form. As you can see here, put the 3.5mm hard drive here, but it is meant to live down here. Overall the workings of it are alright, not too much drama. Pretty much over here I was poking through the various cables, but they are locations for 2.5 inch drives to go. I believe you can put two of them there. We do have a top mounted power supply, which is a bit old school nowadays, but doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't matter too much. This chassis is also used for cases with DVD burners, obviously. It's just the front on here that is different. Top of it, no airflow, solid, slight recess, not by much. And looking at it on the back, we do have a shield that goes over here. Don't have it in this instance. These you do have to snap off, they're not screwed in. And room at the back for 120mm fan. Looking at it from the other side, don't see too much. A couple of mounting positions to put cords, a couple of holes if you have a micro ATX board that you can feed the cables up and through. And more cables over here. The fan itself does have, I believe, this RGB controller on it. If I can get my hands on it. This one here, which what it's connected to does run up to the front to a RGB LED button, which is here. So we've got the power, reset, RGB, USB, USB, USB 3, and audio in. Now looking at the front grill here, there is a little bit of airflow there. And these are actual grills, as you can see through it. One thing that did disappoint me, let me put the camera down. On the front of it here, you can see this recess here, which is where I've chosen to actually mount the screws, or that hard drive. So I've got two screws holding it in, but you can see where it recesses back in here all the way up and down and we have fan holes one two three four five six seven eight all along it yet if we put the fans in there i just put in standard 120 mil fans you can't push this back over it so it's almost useless it's taunting you as i said it's the chassis is used from another case they've just put on a different front and a tempered glass or it's the chassis that's used between various models Having a look in the manual here, I don't know, it is actually possible to mount the hard drives on here, two here, and actually, according to this, bingo. I didn't actually notice that. One screw hole, two screw hole. So you can mount a vertical hard drive in here, or you can mount it horizontally if you prefer. And as mentioned, one, two, two spots to put 2.5 inch drives. And just a breakdown of the switches and what actually happens when you press them. Turning it over, you see not too much else. Install mainboard, install power supply, install graphics card, various switches, and various headers. Anyway, I'll just reassemble this and you'll see it in its running glory. I 
disappointingly, the Aero Cool power supply I got has a sticker right there. It's very obnoxious. <laughs> anyway, let's hook up some lights to this, or some power to it. As we can see, we have this RGB strip across the front, RGB ring light at the back, and on this particular Gigabyte motherboard, it does light up red, and the RAM is RGB con controllable. Now, if I do press the LED button on the top, here. As you see, we just changed to blue. So it does cycle the colors. But yeah, for a relatively cheap budget case, it's not too bad. Could be a couple of improvements, but if you just want something to show off your RGB bling, I'd say it's potentially worthwhile. Anyway. That will do for today, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.